Am I? Yeah. Oh wait, shit, hold on. Yeah, we're good. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy. Early fort. Early f what? What did I early force? The fuck? Anyways, uh today we're playing the park. return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Oh, you already know this kid's gonna be a mess. Damn, dude. She Stay about to break car. her back. Go and ask information. I can't jog at this point. All right. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Shit. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. You know... Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be, in, uh, be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1997. Dedicated? Does that mean? Hmm, I don't know. How do I get out of this? Oh, okay. Hmm. What? What the fuck? Lorraine. Miss Lorraine, Don't eh? Yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Yeah, Take you a lose deep your... breath. Think lose your fucking the kid. Place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. What did I say? I think your boy yep. just ran into the park. Oh, you fucking oh, think? It's for you. Alright. This kid. I already know. I know it's gonna be terrible. Wait for mommy, Callum. Yeah, Callum. Oh, yeah. What's this? I don't care about that. You can read it if you can pause and read it if you want. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. There's something special. No shit, about you're the over there. An amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side. The apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Well then. Well that's not creepy. What the fuck is that? What what the fuck? Okay, okay. What's that? Oh God, the park. Now what we can run. Here? You go in here? No. You can't catch me. All right, I'll come back here. I'm gonna fucking cut him off, dude. Yo, why is this kid fucking Usain Bolt? Holy shit, dude. Whoa. What's this? Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Well, that's nice. That's sprayed in chrome spray paint. 
the fuck? It's like a mirror, dude. That's just weird. Roller coaster. Hmm. Alright. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Calm. Okay. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Yeah, you say that. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night, holy fuck. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. You know, I feel that. You know, I, I, I keep going here now. Handwritten note. What's this? I'm not reading all that. You guys can pause and read it. Looks like we got a ride. Tunnel of Tales. Callum, stay where you are. Yes, yeah, stay there, Callum, as you're fucking riding away, you creepy son of a bitch. Turn that off. Come on, mommy. Callum. This bastard. Callum, come back here right now. Can I get on? Oh my lord. I wonder why it doesn't have. I mean, is I think it's like an older game, so maybe like. It doesn't really have that animation where you can just get on. I don't know. The real question is, how is this ride still working? That's the real question. Look at the stars, jeez. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife, and his two children. A boy That's lovely. named Hansel, and a girl named Gretel. Man, that Gretel they were bitch. Very poor, and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Huh. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Just a slice of bread? Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Yo, what a beast. 
After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Hmm. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What the fuck is that? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Huh, <laughs> bitch, you thought. You thought you did something. by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Three days. Damn. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Damn. Hansel, desperate. How'd they know the windows were sugar? Ran though? forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged. Damn. And the children, still licking their sweets, followed. What the fuck was that? Inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? But you fucking retard. The old witch said, The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. Oh, and damn. though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. That's just crazy. And then, because even children can't survive Man. their sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. That's just crazy. Oh, oh, hello there. Hi, Mr. Goose. How, uh, how are you?
Hmm. Well, that was kind of fucking creepy. I like the ending of that story, though. That was pretty nice. Well, I think I'm going to end it right here and start another part.